how to optimize pages that will rank in top 10, how to find the best SEO opportunities in your pages. Stay with me and find out how to run a successful SEO audit. But before we dive into audit itself, we need to find the page that we want to optimize. For that purpose, we'll use the famous Google Search Console. Focus on pages that already rank between 12 and 20 positions first. If your page already ranks on the second page of Google, there is a really good chance that you will achieve the first page. It's definitely more likely than optimizing a page that already ranks the fifth position or the article that doesn't rank in top 100 at all. Go to Google Search Console and choose Average Position. Filter results by position so you see queries that rank best for. Set the value to greater than 12. That way we will spot the best opportunities for optimization. Sort phrases from the highest position. Once it's done, click on the phrase that you want to work with and go to Pages. That's your list of pages with the biggest chances for the first page. Keep in mind that you can use the same technique for pages that ranks in other ranges. For example, between 7th and 9th position. Now when you know which page you will optimize, let's create Surface Audit. Surface Audit is a part of SERP Analyzer tool and this is where we start. You can select a country or a city if you work with local website. Once you have your keyword and location, customize the rest of your query. Select mobile or desktop scrapping device. Choose if the analysis should be enriched with NLP-driven data. I recommend you to select it for the most competitive keywords. Now that my query is ready, I go to main dashboard of SERP Analyzer. The right prep work is a key for quality audit, so please keep in mind to select your real competitors instead of high authority sites that doesn't have anything in common with your site. If you optimize e-commerce product page, you should only compare to other e-commerce product pages. You should also exclude high authority pages that rank for a different reason than great content and on page. Pages that are left are the organic competitors you should include in your analysis in Surfer. Let's move on to the audit now. If your page already ranks in top 50, you can find it in organic results below the graph. In case you want to analyze a page that is outside of the top 50, you can use custom URL field. Once we open the audit, we get loads of data that we will analyze in a second. First, I'm doing a simple check what kind of errors Surfer discovered. It will give me a general overview on how much time I will need to spend on optimization. I'm scrolling down and analyzing if I will need to write more content or maybe reduce it. If you are interested in detailed overview of each section of Audit, I wrote an article about that. You can find the link in the description below, of course. Once I know what major issues my page has, I go to True Density section. This is the most powerful section of the entire Audit. It outlines all of the important words and phrases your content is missing at the moment. True Density is a metric you can use to assess the gaps in content, but also check whether you use specific words too often or too rarely. True Density algorithm is powered by the calculation of popular and common words in the analyzed pages in comparison to yours. It's similar to the famous TFIDF algorithm, but TDS data are much more relevant for the given query and it takes your content length into consideration too. For example, if your content is 5000 words long and your competitors have 2500 words on average, Surfer will suggest you to use phrases twice as many times as your competitors. Guys, I have something special right now. This is the most efficient way to optimize your page with Surfer's Audit. Stay with me. Step one, optimize as many phrases as possible. Try to mention each of them at least once. If you see something that you think it's not relevant, just skip it. Your critical thinking is definitely needed here. Step two, switch to words and optimize words with relevance equal or above 60%. You can try to work with more of them, if you have time, of course. Step three, fix as many errors and warnings as possible. Sometimes you will have to add some headings, write more content or optimize images. Step four, update your page and refresh audit for double check. Once you publish changes, click the refresh button in the top right corner of your audit. 
Step five, the last one. Once you are done with your old tweaks, submit the URL in Google Search Console for reindexing. Don't be afraid if your page will drop quickly after update. Google needs some time to reindex your page on all of the data centers. However, those fluctuations shouldn't take more than two weeks. To simplify your work, you can also use Content Editor. It's powered by the same Truden City algorithm, but presents the data in a different form. Of course, if you select the same parameters and competitors as you did with SERP Analyzer and Audit. I hope that after this video, you will achieve top 10 for many of your pages and get tons and loads of additional organic traffic. If you will spot some nice results after optimizing with Surfer, please let us know in the comments how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.